yeah, this is it. This is um, this is when it gets real. I'm gonna go ahead and back over this curve. Sure. Hold on. It's about to get country up in oh, here. Jeez. <laughs> That may be the highlight of the day. Probably we'll not. We'll see. You don't want to. You don't want to hear everything I'm saying with crystal clarity. Believe me. Definitely not everything I'm singing. I don't want to hear that. Here's what's going on. It's May 8th, 2013, for those who are keeping track at home. Got my buddy John here with the camera. Going over to Station West Recording Studios in Berry Hill, Tennessee to start my fifth album. We're gonna do half of it today, six songs, I think. When you're at Station West, occasionally people stumble in off the street. Um, yeah, sometimes they work here, sometimes they hang out here, the, sometimes uh, they're just on their way home from the gym. That's exactly what happened today. That's what happened here with Jim Beavers. This is uh, Speaking of Jim. Yeah, this is the guy who wrote, um, let's see, uh, 5150 Sideways for Dirk Bentley, uh, it's Red Solo Cup, Toby Keith, a couple things from me, Good Time, mm -hmm. Sunshine, and a song called... Derek Rattan. I'm actually Rattan. the vocalist on Derek Rattan. Yeah. When that song starts at my live shows, you who've seen me live know it starts. This is the voice behind it right here. Technically fifth album, fourth studio record, because the last one was a live album. But um, I'm excited. I've been building up songs for about two years, I guess. I have a nerve-wracking time. I was up, um, I was up till 1.30 this morning deciding which songs to record. Now, you would think that being a professional, you would have sorted that out before, you know, midnight, the night before you go in and spend large amounts of money. Not me. Not me. Uh, I just found out Derek's cutting a new record today and none of my songs are on this record, so I'm real happy about that. Not. I'm using a few different players this time around, changing a few things up. <laughs> That's okay. That, uh, we're only doing half of it, bro. Okay, I still got a there's, chance. There's still time. Good. It all starts right here in the truck. Why? Because it's country music. That's why. And that's where things start. Got a guitar in the back. Shell casings on the floor. Yeah. What's your worst hang over your best night yet? You're not a proof, you're Mount Beret. I listen to a lot of music in here, listening to demos, deciding which songs to record, and right here, I've got the CD of, uh, of the songs that we're doing today. Signaling. Oh, my driver's ed teacher doesn't see this. We won a SoCan award. You didn't because you're not Canadian. But I did for a song we wrote called She's Good For Me that Jason McCoy recorded. That's right. Fave. Yeah. We've yeah. had a lot of success together. We have. We have. A none lot of them, Canadians. None of them are on this session, however. It's okay. Yeah. And here we are. I'm hoping if this record sells enough copies and if enough of you buy it, I can afford at last a uh, guitar case. I just want to say for the record, I love Canadians because you guys like beavers up there, and I'm Jim Beavers. And plus, it's a very Canadian-friendly um, place to record. Yes. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good. They make cases for those things. Huh? I, I know. I'm hoping if it sells enough, I'll be able to get one. <laughs> All right. Station lost. Knock knock.
That's the closest we're going to get right there. Pike Place, medium. No. I have actually one of these in my bedroom. I do. Yeah, well, well, my wife and I decided that walking downstairs in the morning to get coffee was much too far to go. So we decided to put it six feet from the bed. And she still makes me bring her coffee in bed. So. Sounds like it's done. It does. Kind of like my career. No, I mean, That's the Hendersonville gang sign right there. there. Boom. <laughs> Never start with the six minor. <laughs> <laughs> Two miners are out. <laughs> there, that's a hit. City lights. It only, I only see three numbers. There we go. I just predicted the We're success of this album right based on the charts. Goodbye, wow. Canada. You did this at the house? <laughs> That's Destin's walk on. Yeah, and it's it works. What I like about it is it's it's so country. Yeah, yeah. And it uh, you know you can just see him as soon as it starts. This you Dustin Leaf's Gam style. Right, yeah, sure. right, right. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna steal that. I do have a demo of this one, but I think I'll just play it on the. So there's you guys are gonna there's a little figure in the I apologize for not writing this in but but um, it was one in the morning I forgot we were doing this today. <laughs> there's a little some pushes that happen in the intro figure and in the chorus and I'm not sure who all does them if it's just like a guitar thing or if, or if, or if part of it is drums too mm. but um, anyway where's this at in the chorus it's in the intro and the oh. verse I think is where I mean you'll hear you'll hear oh, when okay. I do it but. Um, yeah, so. There's five dollar pitches down at the gold rush. Our good time friends are all waiting on us. There's a dime store disco boss All dust on the floor Somebody yelling at the band Turn it up a little more They play Mama Tried and Folsom Prison Blues But I'm in 